Welcome to an introduction to accounting brought to you by Park Bench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. This podcast is the first in a series on ratios, which is done for business studies. The first ratio that we are going to consider is the gross profit to sales ratio. First of all, let's just think about what are ratios, what are they used for, and how do we calculate ratios. Ratios matter because we need to compare performance. This doesn't matter whether we are internally considering our own business or whether we are a potential investor or even an investor in a business. We need to compare performance. Perhaps it's comparing it with other businesses uh, or perhaps it's just comparing our own business from year to year. And we have to remember that businesses can be of different sizes. They can have different levels of output and different numbers of staff. In other words, there are a lot of different factors involved here. So what matters now is how we actually make a comparison. For example, if we have open all hours, a corner shop with £32,000 gross profit, or Tracy Paris, who's got four stores, makes a total of 98000 or stack and sell with over a hundred stores and makes 32 million gross profit. How do we actually compare those three to see how they're going on? Well, the answer is that we make use of ratios. Ratios then allow us to compare performance. So we can compare within a business for different periods or we can compare between different businesses. And ratios in general look at either profits, efficiency or liquidity. So we're going to look first of all at ratios that involve profits. And the first of these is the gross profit to sales ratio, which is simply multiply the gross profit by 100, divide by sales, and we have a crude measure of profitability. So we'll take the income statement for Tropical Designs and we can see that the gross profit here for this particular year is £58,050 and the sales are £125,000. So my gross profit to sales ratio becomes 58050 multiplied by 100 divided by 125,000 which comes to 46.44%. So my first question is, OK, how does this compare with another year? So I'll take the previous year. In the previous year, I can see that the gross profit was £47,300 and the sales were 115000 So I calculate the gross profit to sales ratio for that year, 47300 times 100 over 115000 and I see that it was 41.13%. So has there been any improvement? Well, yes, there has been a slight increase in that ratio from one year to the next. So what does that ratio tell us? Well, compared to a previous period, that means that we have a slight increase. So if the percentage is increasing, then more profit should be made on the sales. Now, if the percentage is better than a rival business, this can also be a good sign. But what else matters? Well, of course, it depends what you're comparing for a rival. And it depends how identical, if you like, or how similar your businesses are. The nearest we can find for the moment is Jiho Clothing, which we're going to say is a rival business. And we can see that they had a gross profit of 32500 on sales of 77500 So when we look at those, their gross profit to sales ratio, 32500 times 100 divided by 77500 comes to 41.9%. So is there a significant difference? Tropical design ratio was 46.44%. So it looks as if Tropical Design are doing slightly better than Jiho Clothing. Right, the gross profit then equals the sales minus the cost of goods sold. Now, if the gross profit is going to increase as a percentage of sales, there are two things which have probably happened. 
Either the sales price has increased or the cost of goods sold has been reduced in some way. So gross profit to sales and cost of goods is a significant factor. In a manufacturing business we need to consider something else. That cost of goods sold is determined by two different factors. The cost of materials and the cost of labour to manufacture the goods so that the ratio that we've been considering could have been affected by cost of raw materials changing, cost of labour increasing, or it could be a result of greater or less waste from the use of the raw materials in the processes. That ends our first short podcast on ratios, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. Thank you for watching and for listening.